What is up guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I'm going to be showing you how to program your Redline board for the Axe 2.0 or the Mini GS. And why? Because it's the best source for programming. The best source for programming is LomoPaintball.com, of course. You got me with that one, Mark. You got me good. Okay, so let's dive right on into programming this bad boy. Alrighty guys, first things first. Obviously, we're going to turn this bad boy on, press the button on. You're going to get your Redline board engaged there. Obviously, we sell a lot of these to customers that we install before we ship them out. So um, all you need to do is press that button, turn it on. If you guys want to get this into programming mode, because most people want to know, how do I get it into ramping and all that good stuff? So your gun is on. Um, real quick before I jump on into that, if you want to turn your eyes off, take the little joy switch, press upwards, and then you'll be able to turn your eyes off. You'll see it say off, and then you'll be able to dry fire the marker if you want to do that. Next thing, I'm gonna press the button back in, all the way and hold, and then you'll see, do you wanna turn off? No, I don't. Let's scroll up on the joystick. It says exit or system, or how about CNFG or configuration mode? Press the joystick button once, and now you are in configuration mode. You can scroll up or down depending on what you're looking to change. Let's go up. You have a back button, we'll put you back to the previous screen. Then you have a ramp reset. So if you wanted to completely reset the gun there for the ramping mode, you can cl you could click on that and then you'd be able to change it. Um, ramp sustain, also another feature you can change by pressing it in. I'm gonna take you guys right to firing mode, which most of you want to know. So we're gonna scroll up again. Ramp start, that's when you want how many trigger pulls until your gun is actually gonna start going into that ramping mode. If you guys don't know what ramping is, normally it's like a three trigger pull and it'll kick you up to 10 or 12 or 15 balls per second, consistently pulling that trigger um, for you. So whatever you set that at. Uh, next is ABS dwell, something to do with your eyes and your dwell. I always say in every programming video, don't mess with the dwell. The engineers over there, whoever manufactured the gun, your dwell is the amount of time your solenoid is open and closed. A lot of people want to lower their dwell, thinking they're going to get more air efficient. Most of the time, it just messes up your gun. So leave the dwell alone. That would be my personal suggestion. Okay, ABS wait time for the eyes. Uh, BIP time, to be completely honest, I'm not quite sure what BIP time is, so I'm going to leave that one alone, Mark. You've got your uh, debounce on there, you got your pull for the debounce, and that's just going to be kind of your the way you want to set up the trigger per se um, with actual uh, fluctuation on the bouncing of the micro switch. Uh, dwell, this is one big one. I'll click on it. We're just going to click. Set at eight milliseconds. So if I wanted to save that, I'm not going to go up or down. I don't want to change that mode. Just press it. That'll save it and it'll take you on to the next thing. So if you want to, you, once you guys see these modes on the screen, just press the joystick in once and that's how you guys can actually change it up or down using that joystick. All right. So now we're going to rate of fire with your eyes off, rate of fire with your eyes on, rate of fire cap, so how quickly you want that gun to shoot. And then firing mode, fire mode. This is where I wanted to get you guys to. Fire mode, press the joystick once. Boom, has auto, it has PSP, it has PSP ramp, it has millennium, it has semi, it has ramping, which mode, Mark, which, oh, burst, back to auto. So I'm just clicking up, which mode do you want me to go into, Mark? Let's just do a semi. You want to go into play. semi? Yeah, I'm going to go play a mech tournament. Okay, you're going to go play mech tournament. So um, I see semi on the screen. I'm going to click it once. Boom. Takes you back to the firing mode original screen. That's all you guys need to do is click it once on whatever mode. And then I'm going to turn that off real quick. Well, I'm going to click semi and then you guys can scroll back through configuration. Really, once you're done setting your gun up, you want to see the back on your screen. Back. Take me back once I'm done programming. So I'm going to hit back. And then you can scroll either up or down once again. So that's configuration. Let's turn, how about we just turn the gun completely off? Off? Sure. We'll turn it off, says shutting down. So now I'm going to turn the gun back on. I'm going to turn my eyes off. I showed you in the beginning how to do that. Uh, take that joystick and press it upwards. And you will see it says off on there. So now Mark wanted semi-auto. So if I click this trigger, it should only be going one at a time. And even in there, Mark, can you see that on the screen? It says semi up top. Yes. So you saved it. It's in semi. One more time. I'm going to turn this thing to ramping and then we're going to end this video. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go up back to configuration mode. Boom. Click configuration and we'll go down this time. Actually, we'll go keep it at one. 
go, I don't want to go back. I want to go back to my firing mode. So I'm clicking up, 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 go back to firing mode. There it is, fire mode. Now I want to, I'm in semi right now. I want to take it to, you want to go ramping, Mark? Yes, sir. Sure, we'll click ramp. One and done. And we'll scroll up, take me back, click the joystick again, boom. And we will go, so let's just say exit. We don't even have to turn the gun all the way off. Now up top, you can see RMP means it's in ramping. Let's turn the eyes off by pressing the joystick up, off, and it should be in ramping. The manual has uh, what the rate of fires for each of the firing settings are, correct? Exactly. So yeah, this little, this paper manual right there, Mark, that comes with it, it's right on your screen, the red line. Read through that if you guys want to know the the complete nitty gritty of this bad boy. And before we close this video out, guys, just in case you, you got in too deep and you need to factory reset this back to the way it came. So you're gonna turn it on, turn your marker on, and then act like you're turning it off by pressing and holding. Nope, I don't wanna go off, so I'm gonna press up. You see an exit, you see system. Let's go to system, let's click on system. And then you have a game timer. You have your back button. We don't want to go back. We want a factory reset. There it is. I want a factory reset this thing to original. So if you guys, like I said, you got in too deep, change some dwell settings or change any setting that you guys didn't really know or wasn't, weren't sure about, click that factory reset. Boom. And it says no. How about yes? I click yes. Yes, I did. And it is resetting and shutting down. That is how you guys do it. All right, guys, yep, that was a quick video on how to actually program your Redline board once again for the Axe or the Empire Mini GS. We have a full installation video as well, so go check that out. And don't forget, buy from the best source for paintball. That would be LoneWolfPaintball.com. See ya.